Good day. You are watching the Christian Authors on Tour CAOT TV show on the WBGR Gospel Network. I'm one of your co-hosts, Lynn Pender. And today, 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 I have a phenomenal co-host in the house. It's none other than Pastor Kevin Wayne Johnson. What can I say? Wow. <laughs> that, that kind of an introduction. <laughs> Good morning to everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have a wonderful show for you yes, today. Yes, 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 yes. And as you can see, we have a beautiful and anointed woman of God with us. And we will get to her in a minute, but we got to do a little bit of housekeeping. Of right, course. Pastor Kevin? Of course. <laughs> so the first thing, we just want to thank all of you for tuning in to the CAOT TV show. We've been doing this now since what, July? July. Woo! Yeah, the first Friday in July. Yes, yeah. and it's been fun. It's been yes. exciting. It's been so rewarding. And we know you feel the same way. You've been posting messages on the Facebook page and sending us posts, and we really appreciate that. want to encourage you to just continue doing what you're doing, liking and sharing. And, and even if you have some Christian authors that you know that you want to refer to us, feel free to do that. Uh, we have had a great host of a lineup of yes, different Christian authors yes, since July. Yep. A lot of variety from uh, fiction to mm -hmm. nonfiction to children's books. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to be able to have this venue to introduce lovers of Christian books to men and women who use writing as a tool for Christian ministry. And if you have not checked your email as of this morning, there are two additional authors wow. who have requested and are interested in getting yes. involved and get because they recognize that this is such an yes. inspirational and motivational yes. and encouraging moment yes. for themselves mm -hmm. and for all of our viewers as well. Yes. So you'll see those in your inbox when you get an opportunity. All right, all right. And so want to encourage you, if you are a Christian author or you're a Christian publisher, this is a great opportunity for you to market and promote your book. Feel free to contact Pastor Kevin Wayne Johnson, mm -hmm. our other wonderful co-host, Leroy McKenzie Jr., mm -hmm. or myself. You can contact us via Facebook. We're all very active on yes. Facebook. Yes. You can also call 800-929-1418. You can also visit Christian Authors on Tour at www.christianauthorsontour.com. Click the CAO TV radio tab for more details about author submissions. We would love to have you. Yes. Right, Pastor Kevin? Yeah, I'm super excited. Can't wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> then just want to give you a heads up that one of the reasons why we're doing the CAOT TV show and one of the reasons why we do the CAOT blog talk radio show is a way to help us spread the word about what different people are doing in terms of writing and how they're using writing as a tool for Christian ministry. We are gearing up for the 2019 mm -hmm. multi-state Christian book tour. We're really excited. We're looking at Baltimore City, Washington, D.C., Boston, Massachusetts, Savannah, Georgia, Georgia, St. Louis, Missouri, Harlem, New York. Get ready, get ready, yeah. get ready. <laughs> and so one of the reasons why we do these media venues is because we want people to get an understanding of what's to come. What's to come? What's to come? So if you love Christian books and you're in one of those cities, you definitely want to follow us on Facebook, Christian Authors on Tour Facebook group page, as well as the Christian Authors on Tour website at www.christianauthorsontour.com. Mm -hmm. Earlier this month, Pastor Kevin, we had a guest. It was actually the assistant pastor of my church, City of Abraham Church and Ministries, mm -hmm. Pastor Pam uh, Yerby Hammock, mm -hmm. and uh, she left a gift, and I, and I remember saying, the first uh, person to make a post on our CALT TV show page mm -hmm. would get the gift, and mm -hmm. I kept forgetting to bring the gift oh, in. Okay. Well, the first person to post was none other than a brother by the name of Rick Titus, okay. and from my understanding, Pastor Kevin, he also has a show here All right. on the WBGR guest So, WBGR so that's why he Network. was the first to post? <laughs> <laughs> Rick Titus, if you're watching, I remember today to bring your gift so Yay. you can pick it up from the receptionist. <laughs> and so just want to encourage you all from time to time. We so appreciate you tuning in. We so appreciate you posting wonderful things. And, and thank you, thank you, thank you. And that 
Pastor Kevin gets us to the reason we're here today, yes, right? Yes, yes, we do. We do have a phenomenal guest. Uh, we've gotten a chance to know her very well because we had a conversation before we went live. But yes. I would like to introduce you all to uh, Sister Connie Amos Parsons. Now, she's an author, and of course, she's going to talk about her book, Peaks, Valleys, and Overcoming the Odds. The subtitle is Stepping Out on Faith and Confidence. So this is going to be very encouraging for us yes. all. But she also owns a business. She's very actively engaged and involved as a coach and as a planner and a coordinator for weddings. So those of you all that are out there that are considering holy matrimony, we have a wonderful coordinator and a planner here, and you're going to hear more from her. Uh, she's also a mentor, so she pours into the life of people, mm. a philanthropist, understanding that financial resources aren't all for us, but they're for others that were within our sphere of influence. Yes. She's also a teacher, and then last but not least, prominently displayed in her bio is that she is truly blessed. Ah. And so I'm going to let her tell more about herself and her story and her book, but I would like to introduce to all of you, Connie Amos Parsons. Thank, thank you. you so much thank for being with so us. Thank, thank you for having me. Welcome. Here. Welcome yeah, to the you. show. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so what we usually do in terms of kicking it off is mm -hmm. just tell us a little bit about yourself and your life story and mm -hmm. uh, educate us about who you are, and then we'll dive into the content of your book. Okay. Um, I was born and raised in Lynchburg, Virginia, and... Um, I, after finishing high school and college, I moved to the Washington, D.C. area mm -hmm. and worked in the federal government, which I really enjoyed my career. Mm -hmm. uh, retired early and um, I stayed, um, I guess I wasn't busy and I decided to do what I enjoy doing, mm -hmm. which is um, waiting and events planning. Mm -hmm. um, I volunteered at my church doing that and for friends, so I decided to mm -hmm. turn it into a business. And um, I love what I do. I have a passion for it. Um, I love meeting people and turning their dreams into reality. Yes. And um, I also feel that I should be giving back to the community. So I also do nonprofit fundraisers, and I have my mm -hmm. own 501c3, mm -hmm. which is Hill City Associates. And um, I give um, college scholarships to high school, school seniors in my hometown in Lynchburg. Wonderful. So. Yes. Um, I have my, my daughter and son. My daughter's here in the DMV area, and my son and his family is in Dallas, Texas. So All right. I had yes. three um, great grandsons. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. No girls, but I'm blessed to have grandsons. Grandsons, that's good. Exactly. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about this book, Peaks Valleys mm -hmm. and Overcoming the Odds. I'd be happy to. Um, I wrote, I had the idea for over 15 years uh, to write a book, and it was in my mind and in my heart, but I didn't have the time to do it yes. because of other, you know, priorities, work, etc. Yes. And then a friend of mine, my best friend from high school, uh, passed last year, and I was mm -hmm. at her funeral, and um, I spoke at her funeral, and yes. I felt that God was telling me to do something. I didn't know what it was, but I was kind of in a numb stage for about a week. Yes. And then I went to church, and I think it was the 2nd or the 3rd of September, mm -hmm. and the visiting minister preached this, uh, from the same scriptures mm. that was said at her obituary. Mm. So I knew God was sending me a message then. So I went mm -hmm. home that yeah. Sunday, mm -hmm. and I just got just prompted me to start writing. Wow. So I just got on my notes on my Samsung Galaxy mm -hmm. and I just jotted notes down and I said what I want to do is start with my childhood uh, and then I said well let me go back further and start with my grandparents, my mm -hmm. parents, my childhood yes. and moved on up and then I just finished it with the um, my current situation now. Mm -hmm. But um, the main thing that I wanted to write um, that came out of the book was in chapter six, um, I devoted that to, uh, I was a victim, but I overcame mm -hmm. spousal abuse. Yes. And what yes. I did to get out of my situation with yes. my two small children at the time, and how I overcame and went back to college, got my degree, my bachelor's and my master's, um, and continued to 
um, mm. have hope and faith yes. and believe in God and knowing that he was going to uh, direct my life to where I yes. needed to be. Mm-hmm. And so um, I, I got stronger um, yes. as I became independent in raising my children for 13 years by myself mm-hmm. um, after my divorce uh, from my abusive husband. Mm-hmm. And God just gave me the strength mentally and courage to yeah. continue to go move forward. So um, I am not a victim, but I see it as this is yeah. the what he wanted me to do out of life Mm -hmm. and I wanted to tell others who are in the same situation that you can overcome this you do not have to be a victim of your circumstances Mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be abuse it could be any type of demon or anything that problem that you're going through you do not have to let that define your life Mm -hmm. you can overcome that and I overcame it with faith and prayer yes. and 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 that's what I did I didn't have very much financial assistance mm. other than my mom and I worked I yes. never gave up I knew um, even in the struggle that I was going through yes. I knew I could not ah, give up because yes. I had two children that were looking at me yes. as as their role model right and so um, I, I just thank God now yes. for being put me in that position because it gave me strength um, and it gave me more faith than Mm. I'd ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. And now any problems that I go through, I don't complain. There's no complaint there. (laughs) I just tough it out, (laughs) you know, because I've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not going to tell you in detail about the book because I I want you all to read it. Yes, yes. Yes. And and Uh you see chapter six what I went through and then how I overcame at the yes. end mm-hmm. and then you will understand my story. Yeah. All right. So yes. <laughs> Pastor Kevin, this yes. is so timely because in and and you know, October is domestic awareness. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so yes. what an awesome time to bring awareness. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I I was going to piggyback on that as well yeah. because for the past five years, mm-hmm. uh, I've been educating my congregation Amen. in my church. So mm-hmm. in the month of October, not only do we read through the presidential proclamation mm-hmm. on why wow. we take the time to recognize and acknowledge, but we also partner with people in the local community. Amen. So we have both advocates yes. and victims to come in, and we mm-hmm. honor them. Mm-hmm. And, yes. then, and then I preach a sermon around that whole theme because we all know that phrase that hurt people, hurt people. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason that a man would strike out or that a woman would strike out. It it starts with their own inability to really understand who they are. And so I -hmm. I do believe, I've said it and I'll say it again, it's a church issue. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're grateful for the government programs. But this is an issue that needs to be handled by the word of God. So so that's appropriate. And then your subtitle, Connie, Mm -hmm. is really what captures my attention. Stepping out on faith and confidence. (laughs) And and you've kind of already alluded to it, but it's kind Mm -hmm. of interesting it, it, it was a challenge. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. But it's a faith walk. Yes. Right? Mm, and yes. and it, take, it takes boldness and confidence yes. to get it done. So your story is, is apropos, and I can't wait to get to Chapter 6. But as, as, a, as a... Thank you. Yeah. You can, you're going to probably say, is that the same woman that I interviewed? <laughs> but, yes. but my, fo- my follow-on question mm-hmm. to what you've been mm-hmm. articulating... Would you say that because of that issue and you were able to step out... Mm-hmm. Did that then lead you into the other things that you do, the coach, mm. the mentor, establishing the 5013 C's, being a giver, being yes. a teacher, a business owner? Was there a direct correlation? <laughs> you know what? I would I would just have to say no because I know mm. my spiritual gifts mm-hmm. wow. and, and mm-hmm. my spiritual gifts of administration, but it's also giving. Okay. And I've okay. had a giving heart. And right. um, I always helped in my neighborhood and in the schools that my children were in. Mm-hmm. So I God gave me those gifts already to, to give back. Mm. Um, but I do the 501c3, um, which I do for college scholarships. That mm-hmm. is something that I wanted to do to help others. And I just finished a breast cancer and heart walk 
talked last Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, that's in memory of my brother and my cousins um, who died from heart disease and breast cancer. So basically the question is, the answer is, God gave me those gifts already. Got it. And I'm Got just it. using the gifts that he gave me. That's awesome. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. That's good. That's Amen. awesome. That's Amen. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, Pastor Kevin, I forgot to do this at the top of the broadcast, but, okay. I, but I have to take a minute and right. do this. Okay. We now have a corporate sponsor. All right now. And our first corporate sponsor is called the Freedom Paper Company. Okay. And so I want to make sure that I give a shout out yes. to the Freedom Paper Company. They are, uh, if you're interested in learning more about them, they are a uh, African-American-owned company. They uh, make and produce, let me say that again, they mm-hmm. make mm-hmm. and produce bathroom tissue, paper products, uh, hmm. uh, paper towels, all of that good stuff. Okay. Cleaning products, uh, all of that good stuff. Where, where do I make my purchase? Website, www.freedompapercompany.com. Piece of cake. www.freedompapercompany.com. Right. Right. Ask them about auto ship. You pay $30 a month. You get this wonderful box. So you'll never run out of tissue paper again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I just had to throw that in I for like our that. corporate sponsors. And too. if you are a business owner and you want to become a corporate sponsor of the Christian Authors on Tour TV show, you can feel free to reach out to us at 800-929-1418 or visit us online at www.christianauthorsontour.com. Your support helps us be able to be at this wonderful studio called the WBGR Gospel Network mm-hmm. and Lionel Green, Tim Day, Coy, and all of the others here are like family and we so appreciate the hard work that they put into yeah. making us have a dynamic show yeah. and we want to be able to sew into them so that we can continue having this awesome product and so all the work that goes yes. on behind the scenes <laughs> we have a responsibility yes. to say thank you thank yes. you yes yes, yes. 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 Absolutely. and so I had to take a minute to do that good good <laughs> but I'm glad you remember yes <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> to what you were talking about just in terms of Mm -hmm. your experience in overcoming domestic Mm -hmm. violence and being able to step out on faith Mm -hmm. with the confidence to do the book. Talk a little bit about some of the reactions or responses that you have received from the readers because I know it probably resonates with a Mm -hmm. lot of people, not just female too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. um, I actually had my first Uh, book signing at my church Mm -hmm. and Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Alexandria allowed me to have that. Congratulations. Thank you and thank them for having me and and Pastor Johnson um, Mm -hmm. and Sister uh, First Lady Johnson and they um, allowed me to have it the last week in uh, um, Sunday in January and I it was successful I had people coming up and I think at that time the first time that I cried was mm-hmm. when I finished writing my manuscript. Yeah. And then the oh, did I tell you it only took me nineteen days to write? Oh it. wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. So I was just writing. We, every need, to, day. we need to sign you up for a workshop. <laughs> every day I was writing, I was like I'm going to bed, I wake up and have an idea so nineteen days. And when I finished that on that Friday night at twelve yes. midnight, I cried because it was everything that yes. I've been holding in. Yes. And so the book signing and yes. when, and the, at the book signing, um, I sit in a in in the chair and I said I had a picture of Jesus behind me. Mm-hmm. I said I want to sit here. I just feel drawn yes. to that. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then after before it was over, I cried again. It was Aww. like God, this is what you want me to do. Yeah. Yes. And and I had it at my church. What a fitting. Mm place to have Mm -hmm. the book signing Mm -hmm. and then I've had um, Alexandria Library uh, uh, Central um, Library uh, Charles E. Beatty Library Mm -hmm. uh, allowed me to have a book signing and an author talk and there were men and women that and a a child that attended and it was a wonderful reception and they and, and sometimes men come up and say their moms, their mm. sister, they know mm-hmm. someone who has had spousal abuse, yes. and they buy the book because they want to give it to them or they want to help them. Yes. Yeah. So um, um, 
on the uh, uh, award side, uh, I guess I've gotten fi- all five star reviews on Amazon mm-hmm. right. on my book, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. someone said you need to make it longer. But I wrote from my heart, and yeah. When, it, yeah. when it's over, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's that's it, and I wrote at the end, and yeah. so um, and I always try to keep positive, um, uplifted smile. I've been like that all of my life. Mm -hmm. And the thing about spousal abuse Mm. and domestic abuse, some people don't talk about it because it makes them feel ashamed. It makes them sometimes feel like maybe they did something wrong yes. and so yes. you keep it to yourself yes. and and when that happened to me I went to work every day mm-hmm. I did not miss work right. I did not confide in anyone right. mm-hmm. I took care of my family my children yes. I cooked I cleaned I mm-hmm. did everything mm-hmm. and I know now and and I didn't talk about it yes. until maybe three years ago Hmm. So a lot of times yes. I want to just tell the audience that when people keep things in for 20, 30 years or ever how long they yes. keep it in, it's not because it's not the truth. It's because sometimes they just don't want to deal with it yes. because it's so hurtful to yes. them. Yeah. And, and so I know Absolutely. for a fact I did not mention it until one of my assistants uh, who works at Lynchburg College told and told me she did of domestic abuse in October mm-hmm. and I told her my story and she said Connie you need to put it on Facebook and I said no 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 mm-hmm. and I put it on Facebook and she said do you feel better I said yes because a lot of people liked it I, so mm-hmm. um, it, it 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 makes me feel not ashamed it makes me feel that I'm helping yes. someone mm-hmm. that I'm getting the word out in October which yes. is my birth month mm-hmm. yes. and too. yes October October, <laughs> October <laughs> baby exactly it's all babies yes and I'm getting yes. the word out mm-hmm. to let people know you don't know what people are going through yeah. and yep. and yep. and because yes. I didn't tell it I kept that secret yes and mm-hmm. I I had to flee for my life. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you really do have to reach out to six. Yes. I had to flee for yes. my life. Yes. It wasn't an easy way out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they I did they, I didn't know about shelters or anything. Mm. So um yes. I I did this with God's help and my mother's help. Amen. And um it it's it, it like I said before, it's um it's 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 a it is a situation yes. that when you find yourself in when you tell people, most people don't want to get involved. It's yes. not their problem. They don't want to get involved, mm-hmm. especially your spouse. You're living with someone. Yes. They think they might get hurt. So I'm telling anyone, yes. if you have that happen in your home or happen to you, go to a women's shelter. Go to Amen. a shelter. Tell Amen. someone and leave the situation. Amen. Because God put us here for love yes. and to love each other. He Amen. did not put us here to be abused Amen. and exactly. mistreated. Exactly. And that goes to verbal abuse too because Amen. it starts with verbal abuse. Mm-hmm. It starts with the intimidation and the bullying. Yes. And then the... It escalates. It escalates. Yes. Yes. And the first time somebody hits you, my sister told me that, and that's in the book. Mm-hmm. If a man hits you once, he's not going to stop. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that is true. Yes. And so, um, but anyway, you asked the question. Yes, I, I, I'm, This is my half an hour. I can yes. tell you, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It I is. I can tell you. It, it is. is. It, it is. is. Yep. So. Yep. All right. Yes. Yeah. What a powerful testimony. It really is. It really is. Yeah. And like you said, the timing is is, is perfect. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. again, Tell we're, yeah, yes, we're, we're, here to, we're here to educate and enlighten, yes. right? Yes, yes. So, so as an mm-hmm. author, mm-hmm. Now, now that you've completed this project, mm-hmm. what words of wisdom do you have for yes. those in the viewing audience and listening yeah. audience <laughs> that have a desire to move forward but just don't know how? Okay, that sounds good. I gave some tips in the book on mm-hmm. chapters and business, small business tips and in mm-hmm. wedding planning tips. Okay. But we're having a phenomenal women walking in our purpose. That's the result of my book. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal women working in our purpose, working walking in our purpose conference March the 8th and 9th in Alexandria, Old okay. Town. Mm-hmm. And we are having six speakers, I'm one, who are authors as yes. well as speakers, and we're going to motivate, encourage, inspire yes. and uplift women and men. Mm-hmm. And that's um, because we have lessons learned 
we have wisdom that we have learned yes. and we want to share and impart our knowledge and educate people yes. not just about spousal abuse but we also want to educate about dress for success and yes. self-esteem and positive image yes. and 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 how to succeed in your business because I teach small business classes as well mm -hmm. uh, how to be a leader yeah. um, yes. there is a there are courses for leadership, Absolutely. you know. If you yes. don't know how to do it, there are courses and training for that. Yes. And so we're having all of that um, in our conference. Yes. And we want women and men to support us and walk out of there knowing that this is the way that you navigate this. If I want to get another job, this is, and I want to get promoted, this mm -hmm. is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. If I'm in a situation that I can't get out of, this is maybe an avenue that I can yes. go to. Here are some resources that we can give you to go to. Yes. Um, if you're having struggles and you're a single parent, because I've been there, mm -hmm. and this, don't give up. But, yes. th you know, just keep a positive attitude yes. and talk to other women who have been single mothers and mm -hmm. single dads. And, there, and go to your church yes. Yes. and go to, um, take time out for yourself. Yes. You need me time. Yes. I didn't take me time. Yes. Yes. I yes. didn't realize in my 20s I didn't yes. have a social life. Mm -hmm. okay. My family. You, you just worked. Yes. I worked yeah. and took care of my children. Yeah. Yes. And that was when I was going through my spousal abuse. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my children you. and my job and taking care of them, mm -hmm. making sure that they were as happy as they could be. Amen. That was my 20s. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so once I got through that, then I, you know, overcame. And yes. then I started going out and enjoying my life. Amen. After that after that situation yes. was over and I was out of that, mm -hmm. then I went on and enjoyed my life because then I knew then I didn't have to worry about that anymore. Amen. And so my children were my priority and, and having a job because I like to work and I like yes. to make money. So... <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I'm on my own I money. A lot of people would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make my own money. <laughs> and speaking of money, we want to mm -hmm. help you do that. And so if our viewers are interested in buying copies of your book. Yes. yes. How yes. can they do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, my book is on Amazon now. Okay. Dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's $11 and some change. And mm -hmm. uh, if you're a Prime member, you can get it shipped for free. All right. um, I've done really well with it. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it is, um, like I said before, I've had uh, several five-star reviews. You won't be disappointed. I not, not only talk about just the spouse abuse, but I talk about life in general, yes. and I have a sense of humor in there, and I have poems <laughs> in there, <laughs> and I have hashtags in there, Good. and then I give advice on wedding planning tips mm -hmm. for wedding planners in, in my profession, okay. and I also give small business tips uh, from experiences that I've had mm -hmm. uh, running a small business, as well as I have two degrees in business, so I gave tips for, to help people with their small business as well. All right. So, Excellent. yeah. All right. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. This is a great interview. Absolutely. You, you, absolutely. You did, you did wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we thank you because we know you have a very busy schedule and we appreciate you. You mm -hmm. drove in from Virginia. Yeah. Yes. yes. The traffic yes. was light. <laughs> thank That's God good. for that. That's good. That's good. And Pastor Kevin, it's always a pleasure to co-host with you. Well, likewise. I mean, so we had Connie from Virginia. Yes. Um, last week, we had a gentleman from Delaware. Delaware, yes. and we have our first corporate sponsor. Yes, come on now. Praise God. Right. I mean, this is this is awesome. Look exactly. at those doors. Look yes. at those doors open. Yes. So California, Arizona, y'all, yes. come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. As, as a matter of fact, because you know, I've I've talked to the hotel that's you know not too far, and they're willing to broker deals. Okay. So, right. so if you are out of town and you're watching, we can make it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so so come on out. Some comfortable yes. overnight overnight lodging is available. Oh yes, right. absolutely. Thank you for tuning in to the Christian Authors on Tour C A O T T V show. We you as you can see, we love what we do. We yes. love God most yep. of all, and um, we encourage you to support all of the authors that come on the show. We want you to buy their books, but most importantly, we want you to read the most important book of all, and that's the Holy Bible. We yes. want you to find a scripture. We want you to hide it in your heart, and we want you to live it. And until next time, God bless everybody. All right. Okay, God bless. <laughs>